Welcome to another episode of Spectating Pros. This is episode two, where we go in, we watch a pro player play Madden 22, and we critique the people they're playing against because we don't need to critique the pro player, right? We critique the people they're playing against and see what they could have done different or what they should be doing as far as offense and defense goes. You guys saw the first one, wanted me to do more. Here you go, man. Let me know in the comments. You wanna see episode three? I need likes. I need at least 100 likes, maybe 20 comments, and then we can take it to episode three. I will do these episodes as long as the viewers are there. You know what I mean? So make sure you drop a like, become a member of the Wolfpack, drop in the defensive scheme, my own defensive scheme, the Trey White flex scheme, the bunch offset scheme, the 335 wide scheme, the four man blitz, the single back wing stack scheme. All that stuff is going to be in the member section, man. All right. Half of it's already there. What are you waiting for, man? Become a member today. Let's get into the gameplay. All right. So here we got Skimbo versus Drew to Savage 90. We're going to see what kind of defense he runs. I would imagine he's going to be running the 335 wide. I don't know how far into weekend league he actually is because remember, at the beginning of weekend league, typically what your first five to 10 games are your easiest and then it gets more difficult as you go ahead but it looks like he will be in either was that the dolphins playbook or the buccaneers one or the other on defense subbing in his safety his best players everybody's already got that sean taylor card it looks like some people that already got sean taylor to 97 speed i don't know how they do it but i'm seeing it on the feed and in the timeline so my man's gonna be running back the single back wing pair which is interesting He's got Vince Young with Escape Artist. Nice little dump off route. Make sure you're careful against these big hitters, man, because tight end attack, I, I would imagine by the play selection, what he's going to do now, if you're gonna run the same play, you cannot run the same play against a guy like this. If you know you're playing a pro player, you don't run back-to-back -back plays, especially from some formation like wing pair i just don't see it viable if he runs the exact same play he's probably going to get picked off or lurked because now he knows what to expect he sees the running back he's got him everything's clamped now you have nowhere to go because you ran the same exact play you don't do that you literally ran the same exact play and then had his whole running back clipped off and then the tight end attack route was going to be user leaving you nowhere to go strong pro second and ten i would imagine that the Skimbo is going to contain with a pass commit right here. He's going to spread his line. Well, he actually pulled his linebackers out, maybe pinched the line. But I would contain and pass commit. So if you play actions, these guys shed instantly off the edge. Should be a sack, maybe a light pass. Nice. You do have the A route. Nice read. He dipped off that. That was a good corner route read or, or crossing route. Whatever the hell that was. I guess it was a light crossing route, bro. That was... Those are those are a little bit tricky because you got to be careful. You got to hope they don't set those cloud flat drops to like 10 because that would be the perfect spot for you to stop that route. So if you're struggling with routes like that, set your coaching adjustments, set your cloud flats to 10 and you'll be OK stopping those routes. I would run the ball right here. This is an inside zone type of play, but it looks like he could shoot the gap with Taylor. Perfect execution. Be careful. Like you see all these hit sticks. It's all people want to do. They want to hit stick you, bro. That's all they want to do. They want to hit stick you. They want to strip fumble. If you're not a, if you don't have good run stick, he's running doubles, Y flex. I swear if he runs a halfback screen out of this, I'm going to be a little upset. Right here, we're going right back to inside zone. Although those linebackers should stop the run. Great call. Great call, Drew. That's what, it, that's what I would have done exactly. I'm looking at your defense and... The 245 odd, it struggles. What he's gonna have to do is actually bring his line together. But what you're seeing is, is Skimbo does not want to sacrifice the contains for stopping the run inside. So here we go. I would imagine he's going to run it on first attempt, but you might want to hit him with a play action right here. He's gonna run his fullback dive. But I think he had a halfback in that position. Let's check it out. What is it gonna show his play? Fullback power. Yes, fullback power, but he has a halfback in that position. So if you're running these type of plays, it's ideal to put your halfbacks in there. However, if you're trying to run with the other halfback, it's better to have a fullback in that position because he can run block better, if that makes any sense. However, if the idea is just to give it to the halfback that's in the fullback position, then when that's a better personnel change. So here we go. It looks like read option or something like this. Looks like power O. 
That defense will stop the power. Oh, you see the insta sheds. I can tell right now that that was a halfback zone weak. Probably should have ran power O just for that extra blocker to come loop around and pick up the guy that shedded. Now he's on a third and nine. Now, Skimble probably, I don't know if he changed it. I wasn't paying attention. So he already knows, okay, maybe I need to change my, my zone drops. He turned auto flip off. Knows which way he's going to go with his crossing route because he's going to the strong side of the field. Puts his three blues on that side. This is interesting because he will have, this is a play action. Don't want to do that when they pass commit. Horrible play call, horrible de decision making. I don't know what he was running. That looked like an out route, like a flood. Let's see what he ran right there. Is going to tell him? It doesn't tell him. Right there, you probably want to set a dagger play where you have the drag with the crossing route with a smart route, an in route. And then you double team that right side guy and you make the guy who's usering on defense pick and choose one of those routes because they can't guard both of them. Now, there are times where they can if they set the proper, but if you're not running the same play and you just bring it out when you need it, it's going to be hard for them to adjust because they haven't seen it yet, as opposed to running the damn play over and over. Okay, my man is probably going to get one play tuddied right here over the top. It looks like they're misaligned on the corners. I'm looking. Yep, everything's misaligned. Almost got the one play tuddy. I saw that coming from the jump. Corners are missing. The whole defense was just chalk. Crash Blitz is not going to get you nowhere in Madden 22. It may beat the guys on the low tier, but Crash Blitz 3 is not going to get you anywhere. And here's why. You see where that seam flat is, where it starts. My man can just run a table route and you can't catch him. All right, so this looks like he's in 3-3-5 odd, 2-4-5 odd, one or the other. This could be cover two with soft squats. Nice dump off. You want to play underneath, right? He can't stop Henry. If I were him, I'd quick hike him. No huddle him. But he didn't. All right. Very weak defense to run in the red zone. You probably want to go to something heavier, like a 3-4, three, 3-4 four, three, four under cover four quarters. Maybe big nickel. You know, I know it's 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 still better than nickel 2-4-5 odd. Now he's coming to the press. I would imagine what he would look for here is maybe a table route. Maybe he needs to put that. A Texas, maybe an angle route from his running back. Maybe some tap. He should. What I, if I were him, who is uh, Skimble's quarterback? I wasn't even paying attention to who his quarterback was. I don't think he needs to set a spy. Maybe he could put a three wreck, couple vertical hooks shaded underneath. Beast coming across the middle of the field. Nice, nice defense right there. Oh, man. He had to throw it away in the pocket. Good defensive play. Cover four drop. Now he knows. He could run something like a stick. He can run a stick concept against this, set up a hitch route. He may set up a hitch route here and then low ball that. Look, there goes the hitch route. He knows to beat that defense this way. He's going to low ball it somewhere right here. Oh, he's covering the hitch. He's covering it. He's got a low ball to X. There's the low ball. Exactly what I thought he was going to do. And like I said, when you're in this level of Madden, okay, you start to pick up on what people are going to do. Right there, I knew he was going to go low ball hitch or something like that. But the, the user actually did a good job of picking up the hitch. He was kind of at like, this is why I don't really use cover for a drop anymore because too many people figured out how to beat it in the red zone. It actually works against you. You know what I'm saying? People already know to run a stick concept or a hitch route with a, with a running back that runs an out route. Now, from what I think here is that Skimbo knows this guy's probably going to feel pressed to pass the ball. So he may set his defense back a little bit more and increase the pass rush. So I expect to see, maybe, maybe it's on this drive, to in increase pass rush, maybe maybe send a good blitz. This guy needs to start thinking of that. This guy may try to blitz me heavy because he's already got my back against the wall. And yet we're going back to pistol weak. Now, unless you have a really good run scheme and your team is built to run pistol, I wouldn't even waste my time on it. You'd have to have the, the run plays that I show you guys on the channel I would imagine he's gonna either QB contain. I would imagine I'd QB contain this anyway and send five, send five QB contain and pass commit. That's exactly what he did. Boom. So he's gonna start to dial up the pressure on this guy because his back's against the wall and he may do it again or he may put a vertical hook out there with his uh, with his blitzing uh, linebacker. He still sends five. If I were him, I would have pass commit right there. He didn't pass commit. I could tell by the way the blitzing happened. 
you see, like I said, he's gonna dial up the pressure. It's no longer, it's no longer, I'm gonna give you time. Now I'm gonna, I know you wanna pass. I know you wanna score that touchdown. I know you feel like you're behind. This is where you gotta keep your composure and still run your scheme and look for your little dink and dunk routes. You can't just feel like you gotta throw the ball, bro, like 15, 20 yards. You gotta keep your composure. Third and four, I would be playing hard flats. If I was this guy, I'd run a flood concept. This would be perfect against what he's running. A perfect. Nice. Look like an angle route. Oh, he might have he might take it to the crib. Nice. Okay. Hey. Drew's got a pretty good skill set. Um, the abilities he's using, it looked like he did an angle route, changed his running back. Because he was blitzing so many people, like he's sending five. I don't know if he sent six there. I was looking at the routes, but it actually worked in his favor. However, he's still a possession behind. Now what I expect to see is that Skimbo is actually going to take time to run the clock down as much as he can because he knows even if he gets three, he gets ball at half. So this is where clock becomes an issue. If I was Drew, I would start playing a little bit underneath and just try to play that chess match and force him to take the longer shots on like a third. Maybe you get a sack, maybe a... Uh... But that's what I would think. However, if Skimble's not taking this guy serious and he sees a weakness in his defense, which he's already seen, he may not even throw light, right? He may not even run the ball. He may just look for a corner out deep. So I'm thinking maybe he's gonna look for a one play tutty right off the bat or a deep corner route to let this guy know you're not really competitive for me. You're not my competition. So this would be my thinking. However, when you're Drew and you're down a possession, you have to really start thinking. And the defenses are going to be your biggest downfall. So Skip already knows this is like cover two. He knows what's going to beat it. He's got X. He's got A. Bro, he had A. He like literally had A right there. He could have threw that. But that's all good. You don't, you don't ever tell someone that's in the middle of the game what they should have thrown because they're seeing something else that you're not. You see other things, they don't. You know what I mean? They're they're focused on another aspect of the game. So he's thinking something clearly. He wants to take this guy down the field. Shouldn't have brought his safeties down against the team that he has because he could just throw it right over your head. Probably not a good idea. Exactly. You don't want to do that. If you're going to be doing that, you better blitz heavy. Blitz heavy if you bring your safeties down like that. And now that he knows you're running core for drop, he'll probably switch to something that's gonna have a deep post. And if he knew my setup, he could actually run a one play tutty on this defense. And that one play tutty would come from bench trail. But it looks like another corner route with an in route with the running back coming off the middle of the field. If I'm Drew right now, you see what he's doing on his drive. You gotta, you gotta dial up the pressure and play low. You have to dial up the pressure and use her low right now okay don't give him the time to make those deep throws you just can't do it you have to use her low corner routes where where are his flats you know he's not he's not taking he's not taking low routes he's just trying to dominate you with mid to to deep routes you got to block those off or send heavy press if you're not going to block them off and you can't stop them because your jo your zone adjustments are just off you need to send pressure. So advice to you guys is when you're playing someone like this, who's going to just dot you up and they don't respect your game. You got to dial up the pressure, man. And you got to play low with your user because they got to dump it off quick right here. This guy is probably putting one of his quarters in a, in a, in a third. Actually, he ran cover three. So it looks like Drew does not have a defensive scheme and that is detrimental to your game. If you don't have a defensive scheme, you need to you need to make one. You need to get one. You need to practice, bro. Okay, go on my channel. If you're not a member, become a member. My defensive scheme is there. I'm even gonna put out the meta defensive scheme, which is what these guys run. I don't really run the two four five odd. However, the three three five wide is still viable. It's pretty much the main thing people use, especially in tournaments or whatnot. So if I were you, get on the ball, get your defensive scheme going, understand what's happening in the game. Okay, so fourteen seven. I'm still dialing up pressure against Pistol Week. For some odd reason, Drew feels like Pistol Week is the move. I would dial up the pressure anyway. I would still send five, five, maybe six. Send five, right, with uh, with my user on the line, okay? 
So he's coming back to the 245 odd, probably gonna run three buzz thing press. Leaving the flat toe. Well, actually, he's running uh, cover two pinch. But the fact that he's not spreading the linebackers out is crazy. And the fact that he's not pass committing. Oh, what a lurk! Yeah, Drew, uh, my man, he's taking too many chances. Skimble's just not respecting his game, if you could tell right here. He just, he knows. The guy doesn't have a defensive scheme. The guy doesn't have an offense, a real offensive scheme. You can't compete at a high level unless you follow the best plays. I provide you guys with the best plays. Vince Young throws duck passes. What kind of stuff is that, bro? I thought they were spirals. Oh, that was just a dirty lurk. Oh, that hurts the, that hurts my heart to see. All right, so this cover two invert, he's shifting one of the one of his this could be a oh no, this could be a free touchdown right over the middle of the field. Like I said, this guy's not worried about your defense, so he's just gonna continue to take his deeper routes because look what you're doing. You're running different defensive plays and you have no idea how they work. You literally have no idea how they work. You need to know how your defense works. You need to take your defensive scheme, go into practice mode and just throw flood concepts at it. You need to take your defensive schemes, right? You need to throw spacing concepts at it. You need to see what it does. This guy's just picking defenses. He's running that same strong fire too. This is not gonna work. This is a touchdown on the sideline. Well, I don't know why he's running a comeback route, but I would just probably the wheel route, maybe the corner route for sure. Corner route's gonna be open for sure. Deep post, maybe. Comeback route. He caught it. He probably could have wheel routed that all, all the way to the end zone, but maybe he's just trying to kill the time. I don't know. But that strong corner two fire is not the move, coach. And to and to see that he doesn't respect your game. Look, look at it. He's still taking deep passes talking to his chat like he's not even quiet probably talking about boat trips and stuff right now bro that's how bad your defense is all right we'll make this the last drive for drew it's obvious to see he's pretty much outclassed by miles okay if the if there's tips i can give you guys today is come up with a defense scheme know how your defense works reacts to different concepts okay test it on flood concepts test test it on spacing concepts right levels concepts test it on those and see what it does so we're back into the two four five odd he's probably still gonna blitz him heavy drew really feels like pistol week is the move i haven't seen anything to show me otherwise if you're gonna be running pistol it's got to come with a really good run scheme okay like you have nobody to throw it to you you literally have nobody there what routes are the PA boot Y will who who runs that? All right, he's gonna send people. He's gonna send, yeah, he's sending people now. Right back to the pick. And that'll do it for Drew, man. It's over. There's really not much more to see. We see just how outclassed he is and the different things. He had a couple good plays, but in the end against good players, you can't rely on those little one play touchdowns where they come from the running back and all that. Eventually you're gonna have to slow the guy down stop him run better concepts you know and he's just not doing that make sure you guys drop a like on today's video you want to see more spectating pros drop a comment love you guys man peace